In this lecture, we will discuss about the doubly linked list. A doubly linked list is uh, an extension of the concept of uh, the linear linked list. The linear linked list uh, has failed uh, in the conditions uh, wherein we have uh, already gone ahead. Then coming back to the previous nodes will not be possible. So in case we have to return to the previous node or in case we have to come back to the previous nodes that we have already visited, the doubly linked list will help us in that. So the doubly linked list nodes contain three fields. Okay and uh, the middle one will contain the information i'm not saying that the, that only the middle one one of the field contains the information and then there is an address of the a field that is containing the address of the right node and the field that is containing the address of the left node so the field containing the address of the right node and the field that is containing the address of left node similarly address of right node and address of left node since there is no right node after this so this will be null so there is no left node before a so this will also be null okay so there are three fields one what we are saying that one other field is left one other field is info and the other field is right which is uh, keeping the address of right node left is keeping the address of the left node so there are two address field and one information field in the doubly linked list nodes now let us try to uh, write the algorithms for uh, the various operations in the doubly linked list to start with, let's say we are writing traverse algorithm. So traverse means we have to do the traversal. We have to visit to every node and we have to print the information of every node. So traversal means visiting the nodes. Okay. Now I can say that there is an external pointer that is keeping the address of the first node, which is the identification of the doubly linked list. Let's say it is D start. So D start is the address of the first node in the given doubly linked list and if you have to traverse this linked list you will start from this node you will print the information of this node then you will go to this node then you will go to this node then you will go to this node and then when you move from here towards the right you will come to null uh, the address is null and that is an identification that we have to stop it here so p equals to d start and by the time we have the nodes in the linked list, we'll keep traversing. The moment P becomes null, I will stop. Okay, so I will write the information of the P node and then I will move towards the right by P equals to P dot right and will again print the information of next node and so on and so forth. By the time we have the nodes in the linked list, the moment the linked list nodes finishes will finish the traverse operation so this is the algorithm for the traverse now let us write some basic uh, insertion algorithms for example let's say we have to insert in the beginning okay so for the insertion in the beginning what do we need we need to have a node let's take a node by calling a function p equals to get node And then put the information let's say x here in this node then we will have to link this node and this node let's say this is p so we have to link this node and previously first node so the next field of this node will keep the address of this node it means p dot right is equals to d star fine and next this node will keep the address of this node so this node is d start so d start dot left is equals to p and then since this is the first node its left field will be null so p dot left is equals to null and one more thing since this is going to be the new first node, so D star which was earlier at this node will now shift to this node. Okay, D star was earlier at this node and now it will shift to this node. So D star will come here. So this can be done by writing a simple statement. D star is equals to P. So this is the insert beginning operation in the doubly linked list. 
wherein the address of first node is given and the information is given which is to be inverted. Okay. Now, there are some exceptional cases, exceptional conditions possible. For example, we do not have any node in the beginning. In that case, D start is null at the beginning. So, if D start is null, this D start dot left equals to P does not have any meaning. Okay. So, you can make this condition conditional. You can make this uh, assignment conditional. You can write it here that if D start is not null, then only you should perform this. Okay, so this only one this one of this statement. If D start is not null, then only you should perform this. You know, rest of the statements are compulsory. This there can be no change here, but only this statement is conditional. Now suppose you have to perform somewhere in between. So let's say the operation is insert left. So this is the linked list given. Let's say this is the node which is P and you have to insert before this. Okay, Insert towards the left of this. So if you have to insert towards left of this, let's take a node by calling a function Q equals to get node. Then put the information, let's say X here. Okay. Now after this, you have to link these two nodes, which uh, this node is coming in between this node and this one. Okay, this node Q is coming in between this one and this one. So you must have the address of this node also. So how can you find out the address of this node? This node is towards the left of P. So the left field of P will contain the address of this node. So R is equals to P dot left. This way you have the address of this node. Now the linking right field of this node will contain the address of this and left field of this node will contain the address of this node how so r dot right is equals to q which is the new node and q dot left is equals to r so the left fields have been assigned now this one q dot right is equals to p and this will keep the address of this node so p dot left is equals to q so q dot right is equals to p and p dot left is equals to q. So this is the insert left operation. Fine. Now see, there could be exceptional condition here also. Suppose you have been given the address of the first node. And if in that case, in case you have to insert towards the left of the first node, the r is null. So, r dot right is equals to q will not have any meaning. Okay, so rest of the assignments are okay, but r dot left is equals to q will not have any meaning. So, you can escape that. So, you can write here a condition. If r is null, this assignment is of no use. So, this is the insert left operation. Similarly, you can write the insert right operation. Okay, you can write the insert right operation. And then you can, I leave this uh, writing insert right to you. I am not writing it here. I am writing the insert end operation. So what is given? Given is the address of the first node. And you have to insert an information towards the end. So this is very much similar to uh, that we have used in the linear link list. So you have to, you will have to traverse the link list to go to uh, the last node to reach to the last node. And once you reach to the last node, then you can perform the insertion. Suppose by the traversal, you have reached till the last node. Let's say this is the last node. And since you have reached to the last node and then you can perform the insertion, take a node. Let's say Q is the node that you have taken. And then the linking of this node and this node. So how will that linking be done? We'll be writing it step by step. So first you have taken a node, Q equals to get node. And you have filled the information X here in this node. And then you need to traverse 
for this p equals to d star means d star is at the first node so p is also taken at the first node and then the traversal the identification of the last node is that its right is null so while p dot right is not null you will keep traversing p equals to p dot right once you have reached to the last node and now the actual insertion process wherein you will link this node and this node so p dot right will point to this so p dot right is equals to q then the left of q will point to this node so q dot left is equals to p of this node should be null so q dot right is equals to null so this is how you can insert at the end in the double linking list okay so in the in the next lecture we will see the deletion operations on the double linking list